What is the second big secret to developing the ability to do powerful, clear, easy, intuitive readings? Well, in the last video, we gave you secret number one. If you missed out, don't worry, check out the playlist. It's still there for you. Today, we're gonna to dive into secret number two. And this is really important because without this, it may take you 20, 30, 40 years to develop your skill. The secret I'm gonna give you today will shortcut that. It may take six months, a year or two, but it won't be decades. In order to develop a high level of skill with intuitive readings, you need to do a lot more readings than you actually think you need to. Here's what it comes down to. Unless your life is a total train wreck, it's unlikely you're gonna need 40 or 50 or 60 psychic readings every day, right? Who needs that? Nobody does. But if you wanna get really good, you're gonna to have to put in the repetitions. And if you wait around until you actually have need to use your intuition, it's just not gonna do it. There's just not enough need for it. And it's based in this, that research has shown that in order for us to master a skill and really internalize it, we generally have to do it at least 10,000 times. That's what it takes. So if you wanna really master something, you have to do it at least 10,000 times. Let's say that you come to one of my trainings, learn to read the future, learn to do intuitive readings, but you only do a reading once a week. Well then, that's only 52 readings a year, right? How long is it gonna take you to get to 10,000? The answer is 200 years. That's way too long, right? This is why I say, the secret to developing your skill is to do readings even when you don't need to. One of my first teachers, Terry, the woman that did the first miracle with my elbow that got me into this stuff, she used to say, if you're serious about being a world-class reader, you should try to do at least 100 readings every day. That's a lot, but guess what? If you can do 100 readings every day, you're going to get to 10,000 in a matter of a few months. Right? Three, four months out, you'll nail it. But who needs 100 readings a day? Nobody does, right? That's why I'm saying the secret is to do readings even if you don't need to. And I'm going to give you some tips on how you might do that every day. Give you some great ways to create opportunities to do readings so you can do 5 or 10 or 15 or 100 a day and get to your 10,000 and become a master. But first, I want to ask everyone, have you ever had an experience like this where you went and did readings even though you didn't have to? My answer is, the answer is probably no, but let me know. Maybe some of you were clued into this, that in this sense, reading is just like manifesting. One of the big errors people make with manifesting is they only manifest two things, vast wealth and their perfect soulmate. And that's all they ever use it for. How good are you gonna be at something you've only done twice? The answer is not very, right? No one masters something by doing it twice. So why are you expecting to be able to manifest billions of dollars in your perfect soulmate if you've never done it before? It's kind of silly, right? Reminds me of a great life lesson I learned from my Uncle Craig. I remember when I was in high school, starting to get interested in girls, starting dating. I remember my grandma told me a funny story about my Uncle Craig. She said that when he was in junior high, he had his first crush on a girl and they had a dance coming up. And my grandma asked him, oh, Craig, are you gonna ask the girl you like to dance? And he was like, heck no, mom. I gotta practice on all the skags first. So in other words, uh, don't, don't just beeline for the girl you like. Maybe dance with some others first to build your skill, right? This is true of everything. So if you wanna be a good intuitive, you're gonna have to do intuitive readings even, you, even if you don't need to, right? If you want to be a good dancer, you're going to have to dance with girls or boys, even if you're not interested in them. Why? It's the only way you're going to hit your 10,000, right? It's nothing personal. So I'd encourage everyone here watching this, decide on the number that you can live with. How many intuitive readings can you commit to doing every day? I'd say 100 is the high end, right? If you can do 100, you're on the fast track, right? You're going to get there pretty quick. I would save that, though, for someone that wants to be a professional reader. That's a big commitment of time and energy, right? To do anything 100 times every day. For most people, 10, 20, 30 might be a more reasonable number. I mean, heck, even if you only do 10 readings a day, you'll get to your uh, 10,000. It's just going to take a few years, right? 
So whatever your priority is, however important this is, that sets your number. Maybe it's five, maybe it's 20. Decide how many readings you're going to commit to doing every single day. Then I want to give you some ideas on how you might come up with opportunities to read. Because again, if you wait for a need, there's just not enough, right? It'll take you years or decades. So one would be every time you go out to eat, do an intuitive reading. Ask for divine guidance on what to order. Every time you're going to drive across the city, ask for divine guidance on navigation before you plug it into Waze or whatever, right? You can still use Waze. Just do a reading first. See what your intuition says. If you're going to buy something at the store, do intuitive reading. What's going to be the number of cents on the total bill? Right? The dollars, you can probably guess by what you're buying, but if you're buying nine things, who knows what the cents will be, right? Do a reading. If you're standing in line at the grocery store, maybe do a reading. What's this person in front of me? What is their name? What is their favorite color? And then if you have this, the, the uh, boldness and confidence, ask them, go, hey man, what's your name? What's your favorite color? And they go, oh, I'm Bill. I love, I love red. And you're like, awesome. And they're like, why do you want to know that? And you're like, oh, I'm just practicing my intuitive readings. All right, that's fun, right? This is what I mean. You decide what your comfort level is. That's going to determine how long it takes you to get to mastery. It's really that simple. This is why this is so important. And imagine how many people out there are spending all this time, all this money to learn a skill, only to use it once a week. Again, if that's you, that's okay. But just realize once a week, that's 50 a year. It's going to take you 200 years to get to your goal, right? Don't we want to speed that up? Of course we do. And if you haven't done so yet, please check out below. Click like, click subscribe. This is part of a whole series I'm doing on Ignite Your Intuition. And I know you're going to want to check out the whole series. So check out the playlist if you haven't seen it already. And please let me know in the comments, what other things would you like to see me do videos on in regards to intuition? What are you struggling with? I'd love to get your feedback. This is the last video planned for this series, but I'll certainly do more in the future. So please let us know. And if you have any interest in learning to do this yourself, in developing your intuitive skills to a high level, of learning to instantly heal, to harness the power of your mind, come check out my live Healathon webinar. I'd love to talk to you about all the seven sacred tools of higher dimensional living, talk about awakening, instant healing, subconscious reprogramming, theta wave manifesting, embodiment, even enlightenment. It's really easy. Just go down to the comments. We'll throw the URL on the screen below. Do the spiritual power quiz, find out your spiritual power, take you like 30 seconds, and we will give you a free invitation to join our next online live Healathon webinar. Just be warned, I only do them a handful of times a year, so you don't want to miss out. And I know this is going to change your life. I know this will blow you away because I'm a scientist and an engineer. I'm a rational person, right? All of these things can be explained through the laws of the universe. Intuition, instant healing, remote viewing. The fact is, the worlds of science and spirit are merging. They are coming together. Scientists need spiritual grounding, and spiritual people need scientific rigor. I'm here to bring you the best of both worlds. So again, I know you love this video. Check out all the rest in the series. They're going to blow your mind. And I'm going to look forward to seeing you again, maybe here on YouTube, but even better, maybe at my live Healathon webinar. Until then, I am Brett Michael Phillips signing off. Please take care and namaste.